Hey everyone, what's up? Happy Christmas Eve morning. Got some more goodies. Decided to make a video. <clears throat> a couple friends have been asking me to make another video. <clears throat> Trying to get my life back in order. Uh, my hearing is still probably only about 50%. Still have a little vertigo. I can walk, but I got to be careful because I'm a little dizzy when I walk. Other than that, <clears throat> things seem to be getting better. But I got some new goodies and I wanted to share. <clears throat> some of these are from CTM, Chuck Truck Model. And then some stuff from Earl Miller, which I meant to take a video of last weekend. All right, where do the rest of them go? There they are. All right, <clears throat> see if I can do this here. <clears throat> First up, we have airlines or Susie lines that they call them in England, I believe. Your tractor to trailer supply lines. And Earl Miller so far makes the best that I've ever seen. Now there's guys out there that make really, really nice glad hands that actually operate. <clears throat> uh, Brandon Chown is one. They actually click together and turn. I've got them, but I have no idea where they're at. Let me show you what this is. You look over here. You see these drawers? That's all aftermarket <laughs> parts. So it's kind of hard to remember <laughs> where the hell I put stuff. I got all this and then I got some in the middle bedroom. Been selling stuff, but most of it I want to keep. But here's these lines. Oh, man. Damn nose is running. The way he does them, you can get the electric cord in green or in black. I got two of each. But you got your straight coupler on <clears throat> both ends. What I really like about these is it has the strain release springs. And these are called strain release springs. Because when it bends right there, you don't want it to bend at the edge of the plug because it'll end up cracking and pulling out of the plug. So that's why they put these springs on here to kind of give it, you know, some strength to where it won't tear away at the plug. There's the electric and then we got... Did I bring my glasses? Uh-oh. Crap. These have a tiny little pin on them. But I didn't notice. Is it a pin or a magnet? Oh, cool. It's a magnet. How sweet is that? Okay, that's too cool. That's getting a little too cool, Earl. Okay, this is going to be, bear with me, I've only worked on vehicles my entire life. I believe this one's your emergency, and the other one is just your regular air. I forget, it's been a, it's been a while. But, got your strain release springs, again. Check this out, this is too cool. Watch me lose it. Got your glad hand, tiny little glad hand, and it's a magnet. How freaking cool is that? That's too cool. I never even knew it had those. Now I'm really glad I ordered them. And then you got your other line. 
and they go, eh, -er, eh, -er, eh -er. Oh, I guess I better get in the screen. Eh -er, eh -er. And then you got your electrical sockets <clears throat> with the lid open. Look like Bardman's. I used to install these <clears throat> for your electric cord to go into. Yeah, good snug fit. It stays in there. Guys, I highly recommend these. I, I try to buy the best of the best. And I, <clears throat> I may never use it, or I may use it down the road. But my way of thinking is you better get it, because once they're gone, they're gone. You may never get them again. So uh, Earl Miller is the one that sells these lines. And they're just top-notch, guys. They're really cool. I have a set of my international I still got to put on. But I don't know how to put them on exactly because on the international, the one end of the lines connects to the back of the cab, not like in the chassis. And I don't want it to where they're connected to the cab, but I can't tilt the cab. <clears throat> I guess I could tilt it with the lines, but <clears throat> so I'm kind of at odds about that. I'm not exactly sure how I want to do that. <clears throat> so I have at least five sets of these lines, including the one in the back of the truck. I might have more. Hell, I don't know. I buy so much crap, I can't remember. Pardon me. You might think it's funny, but it's not. I've had two of these, so I'm a little wired. <clears throat> 24 ounce coffee. Boom. All right, next is some cool goodies from Check Truck Model. From Jan at Check Truck Model. Got these yesterday. This set is for the 4070A and it includes some really cool stuff all the dash pieces with the wood grain all the trim already painted I mean this is a sweet set <clears throat> and some of you saw where I'm gonna build that day cab uh, <clears throat> that Eagle day cab with the five holes on it. <clears throat> Turns out that thing's on a Kenworth chassis, which to me is weird as hell, but I guess they had what they had or whatever. And I'm kind of debating if I want to put it on a Transstar 2 chassis or a Kenworth chassis. I'm not going to make it with that Robson drive thing. I just want the Eagle day cab. I thought that was cool. And in the picture, it has those old split rim five holes on it. And if you know me, wheels, truck wheels, are the, my number one, uh, what would you call it? <clears throat> the number one thing I'm most picky about. Now, one of these, oh, cool, I bought three sets. <clears throat> See, you never know. I thought I'd only bought one set. I bought three. Kick ass. And I found them, too. But it has these really unique five holes on it. Some of you mentioned that the wheels in the new garbage truck kit. Oh, shit. Pardon my French. Oh, I'll have to find that later. Uh, I don't even know what it was. Oh, it was a drive hub. I use my drive hub, so I ain't worried about it. Mine are better. Okay, did I build both? No, just one. 
I don't remember who I got these from. <clears throat> Some guy, I think I got them on eBay, ended up talking to the guy and... Oh, man, I got to put two, new, two lug nuts on this one. But I think I messed up when I was trying to machine this one. But they come with the holes filled. And I hate that. I am not going to paint holes. So I put it on my lathe and I milled out the back. So the holes are open. Everybody loves an open hole. Okay. Now, these are the ones that are going to go on the IH. Remember that picture? See, looks the same. Where the hell is the thing? <clears throat> Back on the garbage truck wheels. Some of you thought the garbage truck wheels were exactly like the ones in the picture. They're not. The garbage truck wheels are very old split rim bowl type wheels. If you look closely, there is a lip right at the tip of my fingernail. Right there. I'm shaking like a dog pooping a peach seed. There's a lip right there that the lug nuts sit on. A raised lip. And that one small thing makes them different from the garbage truck wheels. But it's different. And it's like if I have them, you know, may as well use them. <clears throat> I didn't buy them as paperweights. Well, I don't know what. <clears throat> what fell? There's two drives and two steer hubs. Oh, it gives you an extra hub. Oh, it's that is a dual set. I guess I was using my brain. But that's these wheels that I already had. Just wanted to show them. There's no name on here or anything. I have no idea who I got these from. Been several years. Uh, uh. I haven't been building anything, but I've been buying all kinds of goodies. Ah, dang it. My head's leaking. Now, also from CTM, Chuck Truck Model, got these kick animal, uh, what are called, shit, what are they called? Center point steering five spoke wheels. Guys, I used to hate these wheels. I used to think these were the most god-awful, ugly wheels that had ever been put on a truck. Until I realized why they made them. And then Jan had to go make this incredibly nice set. So I had to buy three sets. I may never use them, but who knows. <clears throat> but in this set, you get quite a few pieces watch me spear myself on live video oh look he's dying <clears throat> come on them staples alright check it out Jan makes some of the coolest stuff, man. I wish that was his neighbor. You got your, got your wheel, your, uh, the, the center part of your wheel.
comes with tires. I'm not a fan of hard tires, so what I may do is chuck these up on my lathe and machine the tire away, but just keep the rim. <clears throat> the nice tires, really nice steer tread and everything. I just never, I don't like the hardness. But you get that, and then this sits down in there. And then you get the rim clamps, which clamp the center part to the outer part. And he gives you extra ones because they're tiny. And little tiny things just love to go flying. He gives you seven per wheel and only five are needed, so kind of safe on that. <clears throat> I have a feeling one of these sets is going to end up on a Ford. I remember seeing a lot of Fords with them. Oh, what else? Uh, wheels for my van. Got some cool little propane tanks. I was going to use these with the Alaskan hauler. Just put several extra tanks, like as if it had a propane heater. And that way, you know, the guy would never run out of fuel if he got stuck out in the Arctic. And I just like them. They're detailed. They got the holes in the handles. And, and these are made by Arrowhead, which I don't believe they're even in business anymore. I bought these back around 2001. Wheels. Oh, that's nice. I'm going to build a Bronco. It's getting these tires from Fireball Model Works and the real aluminum wheels from uh, <clears throat> Dancing Bear. I got these a long time ago. I got some air horns <clears throat> with the caps. These are from Jamie at Mo Aluminum. Really nice. Oh, what else? In my box of goodies. <clears throat> the hell is this? Oh. <laughs> A hub for the for the wheel. Oh, some muffler guards, Ford mud flaps. This is just stuff I had. I think I, I had them in a box that I was gonna sell. And I didn't want to sell them, so I took them out. Oh, let's see. I think that's all I got for now. Been buying kits. I have like, uh, the Richard Petty Roadrunner from Salvino, the Asphalt Modified from Salvino, two of the new Wild Hoss Broncos, Firestone Pickup, three of the new Mobius Ranger Snowplow Fords, and I think that's it. Just been trying to snatch stuff up before it's gone. I need to get two of them garbage trucks, but I don't want to pay over 60 bucks for them. I got really mad when I got a hold of David Burkett and I said, uh, you know, you have those garbage trucks? He said, oh, I ran out. And I said, just out of curiosity, what were you selling them for? 
Oh, that's 30 bucks. I was like, oh, oh, oh man. It never fails. Now, if you look on eBay, they're going for over a hundred bucks and no way I'm paying that. If I get one, I'll probably never build it. I just, I want to have it. So if I ever want to build it, it's sitting in my hobby shop, one of my rooms. <clears throat> I guess that's all I got, guys. Uh... Can't really think of anything else. Kind of brings me up to date on everything. Alrighty, I just wanted to make a quick little video and show you all these new goodies. I hope everyone has a great Christmas and stay safe. It's pretty nasty out there. It's only in the 20s here. The only thing we really got to worry about is frozen pipes. And I've been keeping a real good eye on that because, man, the year we had the bad snow and all the electricity got shut off, my pipe didn't just freeze under my mobile home. It blew up all the way down the whole length of the pipe. It blew up. There's like 50 pieces under them. I'm like, okay, okay, I get it. You froze. We get it. So this time, put a brand new pipe, put insulation on it, and I've been running the water to uh, make sure it doesn't freeze inside and outside. Oh, I know as soon as I stopped the video, somebody was asking the other day about a pin vise. Guys, this is a pin vise for those that don't know. I'm sure most of you know, but you never know. I like helping people that don't know. <clears throat> Your standard pin vise got two different size collets on it. These are called a collet, that middle piece. So you can use different size bits. And then I got this one. I don't know where the hell from. But the cool thing about it is where you rest your finger spins. So you're not digging into your finger or thumb. But, and I mentioned these before in another video, but if you're drilling stuff, man, you've got to get one of these. This Tamiya drill. They're just the coolest, man. They're, they got good torque and low RPM. So you're not going to burn the plastic. You're not going to, you know, drill through something real fast. It spins at a pretty low speed. But it's got really good torque. You, know, you have a hard time stopping it with your fingers. But somebody was asking about pin vices. I was trying to tell them about this. This is a good tool to have. Damn good tool. And oh, I do have some double-sided tape. <clears throat> I think that's it for now, guys. I made another video. It ain't the greatest, but hey, it's a video. <laughs> So, like I said, I hope everybody's safe and having a good Christmas. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. May clean up around here or may work on a model or something. It's just me and the cats. So, but I'll see y'all later.